building a piston engine in Scrap Mechanic is a lot of fun, but the way that pistons work in Scrap Mechanic doesn't really lend itself to engines very well. It's not like an actual combustion piston. The way a piston in Scrap Mechanic works is sort of like a hydraulic piston in real life. You get a lot of constant high force movement, but it's not high speed. With this combustion piston mod I'm working on, you get pistons that work more like the piston you would see in a real life combustion engine, which has a more immediate force. But otherwise can work as a slider. Doing this in practice, you get engines that are something like this. This is an inline four for demonstration. You can see that it these here act as sliders, so you can just crank the engine normally. But you can also turn it on, and it rotates by itself. Using this mod here, we can see the RPM that the motor is running at. If we look at the moving average, the bottom right value there, that'll tell us the average RPM. You can see that this is the idle speed, it's about uh, 300 RPM, and by changing the controller timings here, we can get that much further up to what I believe about 1000, maybe 900, it's doing 950. This here's a more complicated engine, it's a Boxer 24 that uh, fires two pistons every 30 degrees. This thing provides quite a bit of power. Now these engines aren't perfect or anything, they provide relatively little power, but they go really fast and it's a lot more realistic way of making a uh, piston engine and scrap mechanic. So here's a wagon that uses an inline 12. Uh, it's got some janky clutches and it's geared down here. And then it goes to this axle in the back. This thing isn't great, but it can drive decently well uh, and provide power to the wheels. Using other clutch designs, uh, like designs that lock it in, you can do it even better than this, but the current clutch design I have on here isn't great. However, using uh, just this car with basically no modifications uh, and messing with the uh, timing uh, plate here, you can get to, I believe, about 70 blocks a second using this thing, which is uh, pretty good for a piston car. Most uh, piston cars aren't able to do that, even you know not being geared down at all. So it ain't bad at all. I even created this uh, Boxer 32, which is too laggy to be at all practical. It actually spins at a speed where you can't even see these sensors moving. Sadly, the way this mod works is kind of not preferable. Instead of having the uh, sensors connect directly to the piston, they have to connect to uh, these pipe pieces that go uh, on the ends of the piston because those act sort of like spud guns uh, by applying a force, and they even use the same sound, uh, which I hope to change at some point. But um, the way the way the game is made, it's impossible to actually attach a script to uh, something like a piston, which really sucks because it could make it a lot, you know, cleaner to do.
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I plan on maybe releasing this mod soon, but for now it's still something that I'm working on, and hopefully we'll get to uh, improve on later down the line.